Hi and welcome to this gameplay video of InMind 2 for Daydream VR. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR, so if you haven't subscribed yet, do so now. InMind 2 is a scientific on-rails arcade shooter that is completely free of charge and that tries to teach you a bit of neuroscience on the way. But let's have a look at the intro first. Hello. Please meet John. His destiny is to become an astronaut. One day, a real astronaut visits John's class, and John wants to ask him a question, but he feels a little shy. Let's see what's happening inside John's mind. There are 86 billion neurons in the human brain, carrying complex signals between each other. Thanks to these signals, John can move, think, and feel emotions. Neurons transfer signals with the help of special substances called neuromediators. By one theory, emotions are expressed by three neuromediators. Serotonin. Dopamine. and noradrenaline. Other neutralizing substances can lower a neuromediator's power and ease the corresponding emotion. Let's investigate how neuromediators and neuron signals help John feel different emotions. We are moving inside to the prefrontal cerebral cortex, which is located right behind John's forehead. This region of the brain takes in information through the senses and processes it to make decisions about reactions and behaviors. Welcome to the decision-making center of John's brain. Collect the emotion by focusing on the colored neurons. Let's start by collecting the fear emotion. Yeah, so this was a very interesting intro here and we finally learned something here on Daydream VR, isn't it nice? And now we are on the way through John's brain, having a look how it looks from the inside and picking up those colored neurotransmitters. As you can see, this is not really a roller coaster ride, even if it's on rails, it's a very, very slow ride through the brain. You can speed it up a bit by swiping on the touchpad to the right, but it won't get the much faster. The fear emotion has been collected. You can stop now or continue collecting another emotion, interest. Your decision will affect John's destiny. Gather the interest emotion or focus on the confirm fear button if you wish to see the fear emotion outcome. So I have collected enough now for the fear emotion, but I would rather go for the interest emotion and see what happens with John. So I will keep on going, yeah, collecting you those. You have collected um, a neutralizing substance. Collecting three of them will erase all emotions and oh no. fail the experiment. I will keep on collecting the other colored neurotransmitters to see the outcome for the next emotion that I can unlock, which would be interest and see how I shape John's future. It's quite interesting here to ride through John's brain and to have a look how the brain looks from the inside and I think especially the very young audience might find this interesting and it's totally safe for children so there's no brutality, there's no ghosts or anything, anything that you have to kill. So this is very very safe for the very young audience. For all the others though you can have a look at it. Collect yellow, green, and blue neurons to achieve a better emotional result. Okay, so actually you're even under pressure because the track will end. So you do have to pick up all these colored neurotransmitters in time. Yeah, I was just saying, so for grown-ups, you can pick this up for free in the Play Store and can have a look. The interest emotion has been collected. And I have Focus collected on the, the interest, interest emotion button to finish the track. Let's have a look now what happens. John became interested and asked the astronaut a great many questions. This inspired John to learn more about how to become an astronaut himself.
Time passed, but John has stayed true to his initial destiny. After years of hard work, he finally became an astronaut and took a flight into space. As you can see, even one small molecule can change a person's destiny. Let's see what John's destiny will be in your playthrough. Good luck. Wow, so I have made John a highly respected astronaut just by collecting those neurotransmitters. Wonderful. So, as you can see here, there is some more levels yeah, that you can make John become. And you can unlock even more stories, 300 stories and over 20 finals for only 3 euro and 29 cents. Well, I will leave it up to you to see if it's worth it for you to pay that kind of money to see the over 300 stories. I can tell you that the game is beautiful. It's interesting to have a look around into the Senator. brain, but it does get a bit <laughs> old very, day, very soon John actually a few of his to collect those uh, neurotransmitters. But as I mentioned before, this might be just the right game for very, very young audiences who just get into video gaming and who might very much enjoy this cartoon style and this slow action flying through the brain. And that's it for this gameplay video of In Mind 2 for Daydream VR. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet and care for Daydream VR news on a daily basis, go and subscribe now.